This Danida funded project, implemented by DCA, targets 1,500 households in Zone 2, 30% from the host community, and 70% from BDBD refugee settlement, as the government policy requires. The beneficiaries are pregnant and lactating mothers for their well-being and to fight malnutrition among children of up to 24 months old. Each of them receives 37,400 Ugandan shillings per month, disbursed to their e-voucher cards in two halves, at the beginning of the month and the balance two weeks later. The card can only be used to buy fruits, vegetables, fish, meat and eggs, among other nutritious foods, from specific vendors who are trained and given enabling apps on their smartphones to use the e-voucher transaction system. The electronic voucher system, it was the, uh, the first time being allowed in refugee settlement like this one in Uganda. Among the 16 vendors we have, 11 are refugees, 4 are from host communities. So that they initiate the refugee traders where they purchase those fresh food to supply the market you have given them. Before selecting those items for people to buy, we looked what are the commodities that are missing from the food basket they get from the ration distributed by World Food Program. But we wanted mainly to add animal proteins, plant protein, then vitamins and micronutrients. Uh, from that, we calculated a basket to give those people. Before I was enrolled for the e voucher scheme, my baby was feeding on porridge in the morning and posho plus beans for lunch. But she did not enjoy the meals. Actually, he sometimes refused to eat, had no alternative. But now I can afford to give him a variety of foods. He enjoys his meals and he's growing healthy. Unlike before, his hair is turning dark, his skin is nice looking, and he's also growing fat. No doubt, if all the beneficiaries were given the opportunity to speak out, they would attest that the project has made their stay memorable. A home away from home. <laughs>